Let's talk about the percentile, which is the percentage below. Below what? Well, in this case, let's talk about the standard normal. I would recommend that you watch the empirical rule video, which describes the variation from the mean of a normal distribution and also describes the area under the curve based on the spread of the data. With that information, you can divide the normal or standard normal into pieces, which you have right here. So 13.5% is this area here from one to two standard deviations. Okay, so percentile is a cumulative um, process that starts from negative infinity, meaning the area, you're counting the area under the curve from negative infinity. So you'll put the percentile values here underneath, and that will be next to these standard deviations, the spread of the data. So from negative infinity up to negative two standard deviations from the mean, that's 2.5%. And I'm gonna add another 13.5% percent that gives me 16 percent so from negative infinity all the way up to negative one if i was shading that and that will stop at a z score of negative one and that's going to give me 16 percent if i shade half of it that's right i get 50 percent and that's at what that's right at the mean so from negative infinity all the way up to the mean that's going to give me half or 50% of the data or of the um, normal distribution. This, In this case, it's a standard normal. How do I know it's a standard normal? Because I have a random variable of z. Okay, so if I shade from up to 1, right, from negative infinity all the way up to 1, what do I get? 84%. Or from negative infinity to 2, right, 2 standard deviations. That's 97.5. And if I keep shading all the way, I'll get 100%. Now, if you're having issues with the random variable z, the z score, and the standard normal, and why is this, you know, there, you have to look at the empirical rule um, video first. But that's percentile in a nutshell.